Hi Taurus, welcome to your May love reading. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Taurus, we are going to take a look at a love connection you believe you have with somebody. So this uh, has to be a connection of some kind. You do actually have to know each other. You don't necessarily have to be together. So we'll see what the energies are here for you. And uh, please keep in mind, this could be past, present, or future. Uh, if it's not res resonating for you, then it's probably not your story. Please don't try to make it fit. Please only take it how it resonates for you. Uh, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female watching also. And you can flip-flop switch the energies uh, as you see fit throughout this reading at any time. So I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So let's see what we have for Taurus for May Love at this time. Now this is a Zodiac Oracle if you're not familiar with my readings. Um, I like to pull these, one of these at the beginning so we could get a sign element or a planet. Um, if you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. That doesn't mean that the reading's not for you. All right, so let's see what we have here for Taurus in love at this time. Spirit, please, for the collective. This is a general collective reading. It's not a private or personal reading. Please keep that in mind. And um, if it doesn't resonate for you, you can check the description box below for your uh, playlist, General and Love. Feel free to check them out. I do consider them timeless. Or you could check other signs in your chart. All right, Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Let's get a card, sign, element, or planet for Taurus at this time in love. Spirit, please, thank you so much. One card for Taurus. All right, the moon. So this is Cancer in, a, in the Zodiac. The moon here represents Cancer. So you could be dealing with the uh, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, if not, totally fine, but the, can, uh, the moon does represent uh, cycles. So something maybe, uh, maybe a cycle in your relationship happening. Um, it could talk about deep feelings and emotions. It can also, it's the feminine energy also. You don't necessarily have to be female to have feminine energy. Um, about intuition, higher knowing kind of energy also. So, we'll see how that plays into your reading. Hmm, okay. So let's see here. So I'm gonna, with this deck here, so how I'm gonna do this, if you're new, is with this deck, this is a new deck for me, it's a journey of love. So this is my first time using it for the love series for May. So I'm gonna pull a love connection energy between you and your person to begin with. And then I'll pull one for you, one for them, how you're both feeling about each other in the connection. Then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot. And then we'll look at the actual situation between the two of you, advice, possible outcome. And then we'll get more messages at the end here with this oracle. And then I always go over the bottom of the decks also. So let's see. Let's get an opening energy between Taurus and whoever they're thinking of at this time. For this reading, I just want one. Or Taurus and whoever they are thinking about at this time for this reading. Wow. <laughs> this deck is still, like I said, new, so it's sticky and a little bit on the stiff side, so bear with me here. All right, that one. So we have the choice, and we have 62 here, which is eight, which is travel, action, communication. So there's a choice to be made here, and I'm getting like, almost looks like the moon here also, with this, you know, uh, cycle energy. Somebody may be taking action here, and they've made a choice. All right, somebody's made a choice and maybe taking, uh, maybe just communicating. Of course, is, we're all, all pretty much on lockdown, so I don't know if there'll be any traveling or, or uh, meeting face-to-face, -face, but at least communication of some kind. All right, so for you here, Taurus, we have Cosmic Butterfly, which is 36, which is nine. And nine is also coming to a completion. Something coming to a completion or a cycle or something like that. So let's see, let's get one for your person. Okay, that one. 
All right. Dream a little. Wow, I just got this for cancer. Wow, and that's funny. I just got this for cancer's opening message. And now I pulled cancer for you. So they may be dreaming of you here. Six is about healing and balance. 51, six. So they could be dreaming of you. Dreaming of what would like to be with you. Dreaming what it would be like to make the choice to be with you. You have cosmic butterfly. Now this is about um, like growth and expansion and transformation and like the spiritual energy. And that moon energy is about, you know, spirituality. It's about um, intuition, higher knowing kind of energy also. Cycles. So I definitely feel like here you have like that higher intuition. Maybe it's uh, something that you've just tapped into that's just transformed for you. About this connection. But they're actually dreaming of you and I think they may be making a choice here. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have heaven, 70, which is seven, which is a divinely guided spiritual number. So I think here, this is like heaven on earth. And it's like the heavens, the universe here, trying to align this. Because the seven there is definitely spiritual, divinely guided energy. I'm just looking at the numbers here. We have the moon is five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. Five starts, uh, starts with change, and the moon is 14.5, which is change. So something's changing to bring something to full circle, I think. Wow. All right. I'm getting like that spiritual energy here also. Yeah. So let's see what's going on for you, Taurus. And Taurus, especially if you're new... Um, you can check out my channel, like what you see. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, all that great stuff. Um, hit the bell, you won't miss out. You get about five readings a month. And if you do, thank you. So let's clarify this energy for you, Taurus. Let's clarify this energy for Taurus. What is this cosmic butterfly? The Nine of Wands. So that's uh, strength. So it's either endurance, confidence, standing up and fighting. Strength, that is the inner battle from within. Um, you've been through a ringer, a battle, a struggle, a fight, and just in life or with this connection. Uh, maybe, you know, fighting and fighting for it or being strong enough to continue fighting for it. Because we do have the Princess of Wands here, which is the... Page of Wands. So you're waiting for good news here from them or passionate communication. We have a lot of fire and passion here. So you, you could be in the energy here of still wanting to fight for this. You've had transformation of like higher energy. And you're either wanting to send out communication or you're waiting for good news or passionate communication from them with that uh, Page of Wands energy. So let's see. Let's just dream a little. Let's dream a little about. Again, uh, you can flip-flop these energies anywhere you see fit. If it's not your story, don't leave me negative comments. I will delete them. All right, so... What is this dream a little about for your person? All right, I wanted two and I got two. So we have the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Swords. Wow, so yeah, I feel like here the Wheel of Fortune is fate, destiny, we got Sagittarius and Gemini energy here. So I feel like they know this is fate, destined, you know, divine timing, things meant to be, things going in the right direction. Somebody wanting to rush in here with truth, clarity, um, speaking their mind, open, honest, truthful communication, standing up, not backing down, cutting away energies no longer serving. Again, with the communication with the birds coming in. So someone has been dreaming, 
dreaming of what it would be like to be in this connection, dreaming of you, now consciously making a choice here and knowing this is something divine, divine that was divinely guided, orchestrated, especially with heaven here. And I felt that like the universal energies aligning this with the wheel of fortune. And now, and also the King, Queen, Ace of Swords also reminds me of that divine energy. So this is like the divine clarity intervention coming in here. So it could also be that they've been enlightened too to this energy. Now wanting to shed truth, clarity, open, honest, truthful communication. They've been enlightened. That this is something, again, what the 10 is about full circle completion. So let's see here. Let's look at the actual situation for you, Taurus. I feel like you've been strong. You've been fighting for this, through this. You transformed. You're just kind of, you know, being strong, waiting. Kind of like waiting, but just doing you. And waiting for the communication here. Five of Swords. So you could have been in the energy here of, is this a losing battle, losing fight? Should I give up? Should I keep fighting on? So maybe at times you felt all was lost. Things were defeated. This isn't going to happen. So should I just lay down and give up? Or should I continue fighting? And now we have... We have... Aww. Card in reverse here. So we got the King of Pentacles in reverse. So the King of Pentacles here is Virgo, but it doesn't have to be. So... So, I mean, this could be your energy because the Pentacles is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So, you know, <laughs> you probably were not feeling yourself, not feeling stable, grounded, um, maybe not having self-value and worth, king or queen here, because you did, you're, you're like at the point, okay, I don't know if I should get up, give up, walk away, continue fighting, you know, I'm waiting for good news here or communication from them. So maybe you feel like, well, maybe I'm just not worthy of them or this connection or I'm not good enough for them kind of energy is what I'm getting. Feeling, I feel like maybe, you know, you felt like at one point, okay, if they're not choosing me, then maybe I'm just not good enough for them. All right, so what else here for this situation? The Ten of Pentacles. So you both want this. It's right in the middle of the spread here. Ten of Pentacles. So this is... <laughs> Growth, expansion, long-term. Uh, that's usually the marriage card, commitment card. Uh, people coming together, sharing everything, having a family dynamic for the long-term. Legacy, you know, having children, grandchildren. The whole nine yards here. To wealth and abundance between two. So now you both want this, but for some reason, because maybe they haven't been honest, or they've been running from this connection, the Hierophant. Uh, so Taurus energy here. Such our energy. They So now they want this commitment with you. They have a higher knowing that this is divinely guided. Five here with change. So now they either want to commit. It could be a marriage. Because the Hierophant can be about marriage also. Or commitment of some kind. As with the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So what else here? Prince of Wands, so here they come rushing in. Prince of Wands here, it's the Knight of Wands, which could be uh, Leo, but it doesn't have to be. So now they're going to come rushing in with that communication that you've been waiting for to bring good news, fiery, passionate, taking that action, being a go-getter, going after what they want, and now it's you. It's like they want this now with you. I'm getting this in like all the readings, like the same message so i don't know what the energy is right now it could be because of this lockdown you know the full moon we just had everything shifting in the universe through these times i think <laughs> things are shifting in a major way especially with the uh, wheel of fortune heaven there wow okay so here they come rushing in here they come rushing in with their chariot now offering commitment and possibly even marriage proposals you feeling like okay maybe i should just give up i'm just not good enough for them all right let's see what your advice is 
So we have the Eight of Swords. So this is stuck in your head or um, mental entrapment of some kind. And then we have the universe here, which is the world energy, which is Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, and Scorpio. So this is closing. This is closure, completion, things coming to a completion, having a new start. So you're stuck in your head about, you know, is this closure ever going to come? Is this new cycle ever going to start? So what else? What else here for you, Taurus? Temperance, Sagittarius energy here. So this is about healing, balance, patience. Healing, balance, and patience. So this is telling you to remain patient, <laughs> having balance in uh, healing. Something needs to be healed here. You've been waiting, Seven of Pentacles, waiting. Should I invest? Should I not invest? Maybe this is just a failure, but there is healing here. To be patient, balance will come. New cycles will start. Old ways will close out. So even though you're stuck in your head and you're waiting, this temperance angel also brings us two soulmates back together. So there may be traveling here with the universe, or maybe you live far apart right now um, also. But the temperance angel is here to bring, because we see the yin and yang there, to bring the soulmates together. So let's see what the possible outcome would be for you. That's too many. Taurus, what is the possible outcome? The Empress. So this is divine feminine energy. So this is the birth of something new. This is growth, abundance, um, stability, love, emotions, feelings, um, passion. It's everything. The Empress. Structure and values. Knowing your value and your worth that, yes, you are worthy of this Nine of Cups, happiness and joy and wish fulfillment. Happiness, joy, wish fulfillment. Knowing your value and your worth. Nine, nines do represent a soul energy. And we only see one person here in this card. But let's see one more. The Emperor. Wow, we have the masculine here. We have the ultimate soulmate energy here going after their wish fulfillment and their happiness and their joy. They are coming to be your emperor to let you know that, yes, you were my empress or however that is for you, that if you did not feel worthy of this, that you indeed are, and uh, they will be telling you that. Because we have the emperor and the empress here coming together for their wish fulfillment, happiness, and joy. Wow. And this is Aries. And the Empress here can be uh, Libra and Taurus. So, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Judgment. Again, this Judgment Angel brings the soulmates together. It's about resurrection, forgiveness, um, making a final judgment call and decision here. Reuniting soulmates coming back together here. Death, rebirth. So ending things that were no longer working. So there can be a rebirth here. Healing transformation here comes that fiery passionate communication again with the eight of wands so we have capricorn and scorpio here eight of wands fiery passion action travel communication three pentacles let's work on it let's work together on this slow steady stable wins the race let's work out of this devil energy capricorn energy into the ten of cups total happiness joy fulfillment in every single way coming full circle again with the ten Again, Princess of Cups, Page of Cups coming in with something stable, long-term, sincere, to bring justice into the situation, healing, balance, truth, clarity. So that's what I feel with that. And we have Libra energy here with justice. That's the page, Ten of Cups. So I feel like here, again, overcoming the devil energy to have total happiness and joy together, working on it, starting with uh, fast communication, probably, you know, over the internet, texting or something like that. Can we end old ways and have a rebirth between us, healing, transformation, 
and bringing the soulmates back together again is with the temperance angel and making that judgment call, making a choice, judgment. Someone's made a choice here. Someone's made a choice for you, Taurus. All right, so. All right, let's get some bonus messages for you. Taurus, I think this is a big year of soulmate twin flames that are meant to be together coming together because every reading so far is basically having the same message. So, wow. Okay, so things coming full circle. All right, Taurus, let's get some extra messages for you here, Taurus. Well, we got two flying on the floor. We got three. We have let go. This is the Ace of Swords energy to me. We have 18, which is nine. Again, things starting to come full circle. So I think you need to let go of that fear, self-doubt that you're not worthy or whatever that energy is because the Ace of Swords is here for that divine clarity, um, truth, victorious new beginning. Seeing things in a new way, a new light, a new color. Here, 44, stability, foundation, structure, value. Seeing things in color, not black and white, black and white, in a new way. Sensity, uh, sensitivity, so maybe you're sensitive here. Somebody could be offering some flowers. And we have 15 here, which is six, which is about healing and balance. So if somebody here uh, could be very sensitive in this whole situation. Could be you or your person maybe that's why if or this could be just a very sensitive touchy subject or just a lot of sensitivity between the two of you because it's just a strong connection and on the bottom here we have soul journey nine again which is about coming to completion full circle so it's definitely been a soul journey i feel like for you for them and then coming together it's definitely been like a soulmate journey here between the two of you but I do see the Emperor and the Empress here coming back together for their happiness and joy together. Wow, Taurus. Okay, Taurus. Best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.